Welcome back to Seasons, and this is the last devotional in the series. But for now, just rest in the blessed assurance that God is really proud of you that you've stuck it through. And I'm really grateful that you've stayed to the end as well. And the chapter in the book is Blessed Assurance. Have you ever won a desperate and prolonged battle that required all of your strength, your faith, and your trust. And yet it was a battle that you were not sure of the outcome when you were going through it all, but you continued, you persevered, and you saw it to the end. When that victory was won, and you came to that realization, an initial adrenaline-fueled elation probably rose up and then quickly faded, almost as quickly as it rose up. That's okay, that's perfectly normal. However, I would encourage you, as those initial emotions begin to fade, spend some time sitting in the presence of God and inhale that moment and allow the Lord to wash over you with his peace and his assurance that he is so proud of you and that he is so grateful for the fact that you never gave up even when you were about to give up even at times when you were crawling you never gave up and that brought such joy to his heart allow that peace to flood over you and to sink deep, deep into the recesses of your heart and make a mental and an emotional note of remembrance of that blessing that the Lord instilled within you because you're going to need it down the road the next time that you are facing another foe. If we hold on to that blessed assurance, it will carry us through. And it's important that we keep our eyes on the prize that was already won for us. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 56 to 58. Thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. That blessed assurance can carry us through just about any season of our lives if we are careful to take advantage of the seasons that we might be in at the moment. For example, let's say everything is going fantastic in your life right now. You've got a great job, your kids are doing wonderfully, you know what you're supposed to be doing with your life, you've just received a lot of healing and restoration, you're finding so many cool things to grab hold of when you're reading the Bible, everything is right in your world. Now is the time to begin to store up all of the harvest that is being brought forth in your life and make note of it. Write it down. Remember, we're talking about stones of remembrance. Make sure that you are setting stones of remembrance in your life. Store all the stuff that God's been teaching you and the victories that you have won because you can carry that rich harvest into the next season in your life. And when you are going through those darker and harder seasons where you are struggling to see the victory over situations in your life, take out those stones of remembrance, look on them, meditate upon them, ask the Lord to bring to to your mind all those things that he has already done and all those things that you've done don't sell yourself short you've worked hard to 
overcome an awful lot and you've got a strength that sometimes you forget that you have when everything seems so dark. I want to end with a prayer and this is for you and I pray that you allow the prayer to sink deep, deep inside. I pray for peace, peace that passes all understanding, peace that fills every corner of your house, every corner of your heart, and every corner of your life. I pray for comfort, comfort that comes through the assurance of God's love for you. No matter what, no matter when, no matter why, no matter what you've done or you will do, his love will always be there. I pray for the gift of earthly hands, feet, and voices that bring tangible evidence of his great love in practical ways when you're going through dark seasons. I pray for the gift of remembrance and the gift of stewardship over you that you will bring into the storehouse all the treasures that God has poured into your life during the good times so you can carry them into the new battles that you face. And most of all, I pray for the grace to see your world and to see yourself through the eyes of the one who loves you so much.